All right, watching an idiot abroad, season one, episode four in Mexico. Again, uh, I'm a ufologist, and I spent a lot of work in Mexico, so this is my stomping grounds. Um, nine minutes, thirty-four seconds into the movie, with thirty-four minutes, nine seconds into the movie. This is part two my video i've seen another ufo um or something in the sky as always you guys decide what i film and i'll just say what i think feel free to leave comments um i'm just starting to be more free open-minded um instead of uh opinion opinion instead of having a uh, opinion on everything i think i'm just gonna uh, film for now on and you guys decide what you see what I film and uh, open discussion on what I think I film but again I'm pretty good with uh, Mexico and I definitely know I got saucers in this area documented so I'm going to remove this title right now but as always this is season one episode four an idiot abroad my goal is to find UFOs in every episode because he's going to the seven wonders of the world and those were not built just for a show I think they were built for things that were seen in the sky because all the stuff that he's going to are ancient sites and in my dipodocuments.com I learned that a lot of UFOs still visit monolithic sites uh, and ancient <clears throat> ancient sites, especially the Giza pyramids and the Mexico Mexican Mayan pyramids, but also in other countries too. China, Russia has a high rate of UFO sightings. But anyway, uh, nine minutes, thirty four seconds into the movie. Thirty four minutes, nine seconds still into the movie. Again, he's in Mexico, so I'm sure I'm going to see more, but let me just remove the title bar and show you what I got. <coughs> Excuse my voice. <coughs> it's kind of hoarse, <coughs> so forgive me for that. But I'm going to remove this title bar. And if you look, there's Carl there. He's complaining, as usual, about Mexico. And little behold, does he know, a black saucer flew right over his head. So again, I'm going to track this thing because it's in a couple of frames. And this is just part two of this episode. So again, I just showed you what I captured and what I found. So now let me, as always, um, this time I got the remote. I didn't forget it behind me. I know I do that a lot in some of my past videos. So I learn as I go. So forgive me if I do that sometimes. But there goes the video. I'm going to hit play. You guys know as well as I do. That thing's going to take off within a second. 